Hi, welcome along everyone. Today we're going to be looking at this video camera. It's an IP security camera. Uh, it's made by SCAM. Uh, it's available from banggood.com. So let's have a look at it, shall we, in closer detail. Here then are all the parts that come with it. Uh, power supply, English power supply, as you can see, it's a straight plug, it's not one of the continental ones. Uh, the actual camera itself that I showed you, the instruction booklet here, one side is Chinese, the other side is in English, so don't fret too much, <laughs> although it's very easy to connect. Um, we also have uh, a sticky thing if you want to just stick it somewhere, but I don't recommend that. I do recommend that you screw it securely with screws and a fixing kit. There's also an aerial, an antenna that goes on the back. I'll show you where that goes in a second. Uh, and the plugs here. Um, one is to connect straight to your modem with a lead. Um, this one is the power cord that goes into this adapter. Uh, and this one here is the reset button, which I've put the cap over, but you just click it and it resets the whole thing. As you can see, the antenna obviously goes in this little slot here. There we are with it in, so we can twist and turn that and have it where we want it, okay, to be out of the way once it's mounted on the wall. At the bottom of the camera here, there's a little housing there with two screws. Uh, if you take that off, um, you'll find a little housing for an SD card, uh, and that SD card holder will take a 128 gigabyte card. Well, so what do I like about this camera? Well, I, I do like several things about it. Main one being ease of setup. You just download the app. I'm not going to bother going through that with you on the phone or that because it is so easy, believe me. Download the app and just connect it to your home modem. Uh, it's very, very simple and it's up and running. I also like the fact that you can actually, by putting an SD card in here, um, not actually have to have it connected um, to the internet if you didn't want to you could leave it disconnected uh, because you'd know that any movement detected would be recorded on the internal SD card so what else do I like it has AP mode connection 10 meter range in the dark and um, that is pretty good I reckon um, it also switches on two white LEDs and switches over to full color recording at night also when it's activated by motion really good Lastly, I'd go for the fact that it's uh, very waterproof. It's down for high waterproof rating, so it's good for outside use, which is what we're going to use it for. Uh, this is, a, after all, an outside camera, so it's got to resist the water, it's no good at all. Um, what else? Yeah, it's got a, a two-way talk facility on it. Uh, it's got a little speaker in there, and you can actually uh, talk through to the other person. So if you're using it uh, as a connection device to talk to someone in another building, see what they're doing, and be able to chat to them, you can do a two-way two -way talk conversation there. Right, I've turned the uh, thing on. Let's have a look, the camera is now, it's just pointing up at my garden there. So let's now move to the camera and we'll see what's what there. And there's the view from the camera. This then is what you're presented with when you get the app first loaded. Um, you'll see the video what it's pointing out at the moment, say out of my kitchen window. Uh, let's push the settings one up and see what we get there now. Now once we get down to there, you can see the various menus there. Uh, the device information, time settings, picture and sound, security settings, network, alarm, white light settings, record settings and adding another sensor and a firmware update which there is a firmware update by the way if you buy this um, it is straight there easy to download and straight on so no problem with that Just scroll down for them now the time obviously you know you've got to set that up to your Greenwich Mean Time uh, picture and sound this is fairly important one PAL for the UK of course uh, America NTSC motion detection on obviously and reverse image if the camera's upside down <laughs> okay um, that brings it up the right way um, we have our security settings as we want to set so that no one else can access the camera except you uh, network settings that's to set up your IP address I mean, if you want to change that at any time you can 
this important one, the alarm settings. Uh, this one's the main one, uh, the receive alarm prompt, um, because that's the one that goes off at any motion activated straight to your phone. Uh, and basically it starts recording straight away on your phone memory, okay, if that happens. But obviously you can take it off, you can still leave that on motion detection if you want as well. Yeah, but if you're not bothering to monitor it at all, I leave those two off when I'm going out. So that takes us to white light settings. Uh, and that's obviously a switching time uh, for the white light and that's obviously because we want that on at night time um, so you, you just basically push that there and set the time I haven't actually set the scheduled up for that to turn on or off the white light okay so once you've done that you just push the save button whatever time that is at your nightfall time so we go back now to uh, record settings and this is um, the card setting here uh, that's in the camera if you put an SD card in two minutes I've got it to record for uh, but you can go up to quite a few um, up to three minutes here if you want to see so I've gone for two okay um, record timer you can do it on a timer if you want to uh, from the SD capacity in mine is a 64 gig which shows 60 but uh, yeah, that's always a way isn't it <laughs> um, and format the SD card which can be done on the camera and we'll go back there now and that's it well you can add another sensor the bottom and a firmware update as I say I've said it's already um, got one there and I've updated it well that's the settings for you there's the playback uh, for anything that's come on uh, record alarm what time uh, that's gone off and record timer okay that's from earlier on when I was messing around with it going to the switch to the bottom menus now this is message and there you can see all the alarm messages okay that one there you can see it's type motion detection where I fired it off deliberately um, you've got image that you may have taken it you can record a still image as well okay and the videos as you can see there where it's gone off from the camera under this app here you do get a general settings there which is usual basic stuff there as you can see auto start and uh, several other things sound will be turned off automatically when monitoring resolution blah 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 now then for a little test i've set the camera up there just pointing across my kitchen and living room uh, and i've set the alarm to come on um, so i'm now going to walk in front of it and uh, see what happens to the phone here and look at that i've not even got to the phone and it says i have an activation and that obviously you can see is me there who's activated it <laughs> once you've got your activation you can just switch it off or you can go and see what it was and obviously it was me <laughs> as you can see it's now automatically gone into record mode uh, to record all of that activation for the two minutes on the SD card here then are the activations of me walking in front of the camera uh, and the time that they've gone off. Okay, you can click those and obviously have a look at them. There they are, there's, there's me yourself there. <laughs> right then, the camera is all mounted and it's mounted here where I want it, on the back of my summer house there. That's my position because if I turn around you'll see why. As you can see, it's straight on the back of my bungalow there so I get a nice look across it. I'll now show you um, what the picture is like on the phone as it sees through the camera. There is the camera picture on the mobile phone and uh, it's got a bit of a curve obviously to it. It's a wide angle lens so it's getting it all in but the good thing is it's getting the whole of the bungalow in, the whole back of it there even the shed on the left hand side. Okay all that remains now is to show you the nighttime view. We'll see how good that is while we'll going to that right now. There now is uh, what the camera sees and as you can see rather excellent night vision and that's what we need for security isn't it? We do need to be able to see pretty much in the dark when we can't see. We need the camera to do it for us. Well, there you have it. Really fine camera if you take your security seriously. And uh, we kind of have to these days, don't we? It's a sad world that we have to have cameras everywhere. Um, but that's just the way it is, isn't it? Um, I think that's a rather good camera. I say it's an S cam. Uh, you can get it uh, with the link I've got in the description uh, beneath the video. Okay. Uh, I got it from banggood.com. 
great name, they come from China, but they're very good, they deliver to England, and you get the proper English plug and everything, so I think they're really quite good. Okay, uh, that's it though from me, usual place for all my stuff, you know where to go, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.